My name is Koji Miyamoto. I'm a senior economist at the, the World Bank in Washington, DC. Social emotional skills are ex extremely important for the society. Um, generally speaking, social emotional sk skills drive children's lifetime success. For instance, social emotional skills are key determinants of children's labor market outcomes. Smooth sc school to work transition, job stability, Social emotional skills are also very important drivers of health outcomes. For instance, um, it reduces the likelihood of being obese. It reduces the likelihood of uh, facing mental um, health challenges. And there are many other examples. Social emotional skills are also important for um, promoting civic participation, civic engagement, like voting, political interest, etc. So those are, the, those are the, essentially the reasons why, and we have strong evidence supporting that. I have been working uh, to promote social emotional learning for about uh, 10 years. Um, so uh, before working at the, at the World Bank, I used to work at the OECD in Paris, and there I was engaged in um, developing the conceptual framework of social emotional skills. So how can we define and characterize social emotional skills that, that matter? It's very important to pick out the dimensions of social emotional skills that matter for, um, for individuals' lifetime success. So I've, I've been working on the framework. I've also been working to synthesize existing evidence from around the world on which social emotional skills matter and also how to develop those social emotional skills that matter. Furthermore, I also engaged in a work that synthesizes policy initiatives and practices, uh, again, around the, the world uh, that pertain to social emotional skills or social emotional learning. Now, um, based on those activities, I'm now moving on to, we, we have been moving on to the work to better measure social and emotional skills and to collect data um, that, you know, that designed to track children's social and emotional development over time. Now, um, after I moved move to the World Bank, I have been, I have started to engage in, 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 in an activity jointly with other colleagues at the World Bank on adult skills assessment in middle income, low income countries. And that, you know, and th this survey, which is called STEP, household survey, that includes measures of social and emotional skills for adults aged 15 to 64. Uh, for me, I think social and emotional skills are important, relevant for all age groups from, from birth until um, later adulthood. So I think you know, we, sh we should focus on all the, you know, the life cycle. Uh, well, right now I'm focusing on adult skills because, that's, you know, uh, because that was a, an important activity at the World Bank. I should also mention that at the World Bank there are many activities that touches on um, early childhood, schooling period. We're running a number of intervention programs designed to enhance um, among others, children's social and emotional skills. So, yeah, so there are a range of activities at the World Bank that covers uh, most of the age groups. My hope is that we would have a, an improved evidence base on what works to enhance social and emotional skills and to, and to have a better um, characterization or identification of social and emotional skills that matter. I think those two information uh, are key for policymakers, practitioners to, to you know, do what they would like to do to, to enhance children and adults' lifetime success. I would also like to contribute to the efforts made to improve the measures of social and emotional skills. In fact, this is exact, precisely the theme of, the, of this Salzburg Global seminar. Um, the researchers from around the world across di different disciplines have already made you know, 
important progress towards um, measurement improvement. Um, and there are lots of exciting work going on to uh, experimental methods, games, and you know. Uh, and uh, it is my intention to also um, join this, you know, bandwagon, or, uh, to to uh, to see how you know how how we can enha enhance this. And uh, it's, it's it's a really exciting area and promising area, I would say. So the previous global adults uh, global seminar focused on a topic that is broad, was untapped talents. Right? So talents could be di uh, multi-dimensional. It would include obviously cognitive capabilities, social emotional capabilities, technical, vocational skills, range of skills. And obviously one discussion we had there uh, was that, you know, among all the range of skills that I just described, social emotional skills are particularly important, potentially uh, powerful for policies and practices. So, and that, you know, happens to be the type of skills that I, that I have been working on uh, for the past years, so so it is for me very natural to 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 join the you know the this follow up seminar that focuses on the you know key dimensions of untapped talents. Um, probably the, the most important um, outcome I would like to see is you know an agreement among this diverse uh, audience participants uh, agreement on. Um, the orientations in terms of the efforts to improve social and emotional skills. So it would be nice to have a consensus and to be able to elaborate the consensus in terms of the Salzburg Global Seminar statements. And if you come up with a very um, strong and cohesive statement, I think um, this message can be transmitted with uh, a good impact in the society.